How to create a radial progress bar in Adobe After Effects. Now, this is a follow-up video to yesterday's tutorial where I explained the easiest method to create a progress bar with a slider to control the whole process. I'm gonna put a link into the description. As a follow-up question, I got the question, some people have asked, how would you actually go by creating this with a radial progress bar, pi, whatever you call it. It's like a radial progress from zero to 100%. So the circle is filling up like a pie chart. Apply a text animation just like that other progress part. Let's dive into After Effects and see how this is created. Now here in After Effects, go to your ellipse tool and hold down the shift key and drag over your canvas. I have selected the color already here. You would select a new color under fill, say okay. And now my favorite trick, Control, Alt, or Home, or Command, Option, if you're on a Mac, Command, Option, and Home, to center the pivot point. And now, Control, or Command, and Home, without Alt, or Option, to center it to the canvas, okay? Because we're gonna use a radial wipe, and that needs to be right in the center of the canvas. With this thing selected here, now we wanna add a text. So select your text tool, and this is going to be our percentage. Say so, okay, and we wanna give this Again, a dark gray color. And just like our shape, control alt home or command option home to center the pivot and control home or command home to center the canvas. Select the text tool one more time because we're going to need this percentage sign. With our number, we want to make sure that in the paragraph panel, it's aligned to the right side. This is basically the assets that we're gonna be working with. Now in the shape layer, go ahead and select in the effects and presets, select radial, wipe. Select the radial wipe, apply that to the shape layer. And what this will do when, when you move this, you will get this behavior. Now, if you've seen yesterday's tutorial, you might be thinking, okay, let's go in and select this ellipse path and add a trim path, which we had selected yesterday, which, is, which works with any other path. But the problem is with this type of shape, when you use this, it's actually doing this. That's not what, what you actually want. Okay, so we're gonna remove that trim path again and then come back with the radial wipe, apply to the shape layer, and this is what we're gonna be using here. And as usual, just like the other one, this is going from zero to 100. Our number is going from zero to 100, so it's going to work with a slider that goes from zero to 100. Very easy, okay? So head over to the effects panel, apply a slider control, and now, from the timeline, because we want to need that pick whip, we have to use it from here. Right here, there is no pick whip to, to use, okay? Go to effects, radial wipe, transition completion, and here's your pick whip, and move it over to the slider, now that's connected. And when you now move the slider, this is working just fine. And we're gonna do the same thing with the text source, so open the text, go to text, and then source text, and pick whip that to the slider, which we had applied to the shape layer. Pick whip that to the slider as well. Now both are going to react to the slider. Now here's the thing, when you use the slider, it's going to use decimals, it's going to do the math very accurately. You can actually use this number, then you will get integer numbers, full numbers, but the problem is you can go beyond 100 with this, okay? So just like that other tutorial, we're gonna use a little expression snippet in the text, go to the source text, and we're gonna round this number, math.round, opening and closing parentheses, move the closing parentheses to the end, and now when we use the slider, we have our integer numbers, okay? No decimals. That's what we want. We want to reposition the text and this percentage just a little bit so it looks centered like this because our number is growing. You probably wondered, hey, wait a minute, this circle is full, but we want it the other way around. So there's one thing that you could do, just duplicate this shape. And the second shape is going to use our main shape as a mask. Okay, so in the second shape, just remove the radial wipe and the slider control, and then set the track mat to alpha inverted. Now what this does is it's using our main shape and inverting the alpha, which is then giving us the impression of this radial progress filling up. I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's this, this slight blue hinge because this layer here, this shape is being masked. So what you can actually do, go to our main shape and resize it by 1%, 101. And then this 
blue hinge should be gone. That's basically all you have to do. You've got your slider here. And then of course, just like we did with the other tutorial, we can go in and animate this and then tweak a little bit, tweak the timing, right click, easy ease, because I cannot use the F9 key with my screen recording software. And then you got yourself your radial progress. You have to tweak it a little bit. It needs an extra step compared to that regular progress bar, but it's not very complicated. What did we do? We created a circle. We centered it to the canvas. We applied a radial wipe. We applied a slider control. And then we created a text for the percentage. And then we pick whipped both the text and the radial wipe to the slider. And then we rounded the text number in the source text with math.round with a little expression. And that's all you have to do. And to invert this, we just copied the shape layer, removed all effects and set the track mat to alpha inverted. It's actually inverting this first main shape since we want this area to be opaque and this area to be transparent. We got our radial progress bar, okay? That's all you have to do. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please consider hitting the like button to help me promote my tutorials on this platform. And other than that, thank you for watching and I hope I will see you in the next tutorial.